You know, one of the things that happens every fall is uh, the shad migrating off the main lake and migrating back into the creeks and can really be a fun time of the year to fish. I got a couple of ways that I like to catch them and, and both of them really revolve around a crankbait. Um, one of the first things that'll happen when the fish come off the main lake and they start heading back in the creeks, you know, the fish are doing that because the shad are doing that. Um, a lot of times they'll get on, if, if there's some, some ledges, some shallow ledges back in the creeks, like, you know, I'm talking about shallow ledges and, you know, five, six foot, uh, where the old creek channels, you know, swing back through the through the flats back in the creeks, and a lot of times, if you can find some cover along those, you know, some stumps or some brush piles or something, uh, I like to target that stuff with a Strike King Series Five crankbait. They make a lot of good shad patterns. I don't think one's really any better than the other one, as long as it's a shad pattern. Um, but you get that out there and bounce that around the cover. You know, earlier in the year when the fish are out in the main lake, you're you're more worried about shell beds and hard bottoms and stuff like that, and, and uh, but they tend to get more around cover when they start migrating back in the creeks, and uh, you know that series five is a really good, really good bait to target them when they're, you know, when the, early in the migration, when they're in five to seven feet of water, you know, say midway back in the creeks, um, and then later on in the year as it really starts to cool off, those shad will really go shallow, and uh, the Strike King 1.5, you know, it's a little shallow diver. Once again, any of the any of Strike King's shad patterns really work well, and uh, but I'll get that and I'll run it along some of the some of the banks and, and shoreline cover, you know, with the, say, laydowns and stuff like that. Um, those shad will really ball up around that kind of stuff. And, and this little bait really comes through cover really well. And, uh, man, you know, I've caught, it might be a small bait, but I've caught some big fish on it. And it runs about three foot deep on a long cast. And, uh, but you're not really, you know, you're not looking to fish deep. You're, you're banging it off stumps and trees, laid out dock piling sometimes pretty good. Those shad will get around those. Those shad tend to like hard cover. Uh, when they get back in those creeks in the fall and and the fish will really school up just like you can find big schools of fish in the summertime out on the main lake you can find big schools of fish back in a creek in the fall and they're, they're you know they're following that fall shad migration and that little 1.5 when they get shallow will really catch them